The next deck we're gonna go ahead and try is none other than Lugia V-Star. If you guys missed the last video, make sure you check it out. We played with Roaring Moon. We've already played with Raging Bolt EX and Dragapult EX. Such a fun video. All three of them were pretty fun, not gonna lie. But today we're gonna focus on Lugia V-Star and we're gonna see if this deck is still good enough to compete. We'll go over the deck build at the end of the video, so make sure you like, you subscribe, you do all that stuff, and you watch until the end for the full deck list. I'm not gonna post the deck list. You guys can watch until the end, take a screenshot and edit it. You can copy it, whatever you wanna do, we'll go ahead and do that. Opponent's calling in the coin flip. I believe the deck that we are running with Lugia V-Star has 27 trainer cards and a bunch of special energy cards for obvious reasons. Um, there's one thing I was going to say and I completely forgot. I don't remember what I was going to say. It'll come back to me, I think. We're running Cincino. We're running Lugia V-Star. And we're running Luminion and a couple other cards. You guys will see as we get into these videos. But it's super fun. I really like this deck. It's come in clutch for me at times. And it's super fun. We are running Carmine. Carmine is a pretty good card to have because it lets you use it turn one and it's absolutely beautiful so this deck can go one or two whatever it prefers and look at this we just got a mencino with the carmine that's actually pretty dang good not even gonna lie we can use the double turbo energy on the mencino so that we could evolve it later to Cincino and i already have two energy cards so my opponent's gonna go ahead and go first what we can do technically is call for family later and go about it that way so we'll see we're playing a Dreepy deck. Manaphy does you nothing against opposing Dragapult decks. A lot of people think Manaphy protects you against other Dragapults. In all reality, they really don't. Charmander's a problem. Straight up, it's a problem. Our A spec card is re uh, basically Reset Stamp. Oh, we got to get rid of this Encino, don't we? Okay. In order for us to succeed, we're playing the Carmine. We already have two Archelops on the discard pile, so that works out for us. Play the Jamming Tower. I really hope that we don't get knocked out. That would be pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Grab another Cincino just in case. And I'm not Luminian. I want Lugia V. Let's take a look at what we got. So, right off the bat, I have... I don't even know what's in my prize pool, ladies and gentlemen. I think we got um, a bunch of special energy cards in our prize pool. I don't remember what I have in there. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just call turn. There you go. So technically next turn, we can hit the Ultra Ball. And we can grab a Lugia V-Star and start a bunch of shenanigans. Let's see what we got. Please don't have a rare candy, though. That's the only thing I ask for, is don't have a rare candy. They play an Arvin, which tells me they're gonna get a rare candy. And obviously, something else. Earthen Vessel and Evolution. Okay, you're gonna try to evolve your Dreepy right off the bat. Earthen Vessel is going to be kind of clutch for my opponent. Buddy Buddy Puffin is pretty nice for them, considering they're going to... They're probably going to bring in two Dreepy, is my guess. Charmander and Dreepy. That's kind of dangerous for us. Okay. I just hope they don't have a a rare candy in Charizard or something. That's a lot of trouble for us. Jamming Tower is basically going to block them from using Technical Machine Evolution though. And that's part of the reason why I like Jamming Tower is because it blocks a lot of these. But in addition to that, it also blocks, you know, ancient booster energy capsule and future booster energy capsule. So it's pretty nice. Um, 
Golly, do I got... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab Lugia V-Star. We're gonna place it on Lugia V. We're gonna place Tintino onto Mentino. Play the Lugia V-Star, and we're gonna go ahead and grab both Arcalops from our discard pile. Our engine is set. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna grab a gift energy and a mist energy and we're gonna play them here just in case it gets knocked out I know that's kind of a silly thing to do but we need more cards in our hand and finally I'm gonna go ahead I don't think we need the V card V guard energy but I do want the Gift Energy and the Miss Energy. We're running super low, and I know for a fact the majority of our special energy lie in here. So, um, special roll. I almost press, pressed Gentle Slap for no reason. And since Sino's gonna be pretty clutch later, not gonna lie. Maybe we retreat it later. Okay, Dreepy comes in. Honestly, what I'm gonna do is retreat Sincino and play Lugia V-Star. Because Tintino can Oko Dragapult. It only takes five. And I say that like it's not a lot, but it's actually a lot. Five energy cards to knock out Dragapult. The Arvind comes out. That means they're probably going to play... Rare Candy and Technical Machine Evolution is not going to do anything for you, buddy. You've got the Jamming Tower. Please don't play Charizard. Please don't play Charizard. That's all I ask for. They're going to play Charizard. Yikes on a trike! They realize they can't use the TM Evolution, so they discard it. And here comes the Charizard, and it's going to knock out Tintino. That's a big bummer. Huge bummer. But on the contrary, we get seven cards. Assuming they knock out Tintino. If they don't knock out Tintino, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine if they don't. You're going to play your... I don't know if you play Fire Energy on Dreepy or your Charizard. But we're about to find out. Okay. I figured there was going to be something along the likes of that. You're going to call turn. Right? You don't have an energy on hand. I'm calling your bluff. Oh, you do. Well, you attach it to that Dreepy. Okay. You go ahead and do that, buddy, because what I'm going to go ahead and do, we're attaching the Miss Energy to this Mentino here, and we're going to go ahead and play the Archelops and power up this Lugia. We're running super low on energy, so i got to be mindful of that. But we're going to go ahead and retreat here by getting rid of the Miss Energy. Oh, Miss Energy is actually pretty important because we're against... Uh, you know who. Okay, we'll chalk that as an L for now. We play Tempest, Tempest Dive. And we do not discard the stadium. Jamming Tower is actually coming in pretty good for us. What I really want though is a boss's orders. So assuming they knock down my Lugia V Star, I'm gonna go ahead and play the Luminion. The reason I want boss's orders is because I want that Charizard. I should be able to get rid of that Charizard if I'm not mistaken. Iono comes out. I'm actually cool with that. Don't give me energy. Okay, we got the Luminion. We're good. We're good. We're good. And we got the Tintino. So we can wreck havoc. We're running super low on energy though. Which is a problem, for obvious reasons. Recon Directive's gonna come out. 
I have Lugia V-Star because I can get rid of the Streepy, assuming they don't evolve it into a Dragapult. There's the Ultra Ball. Please don't bring in the Dragapult. We're about to find out what happens here. I don't even remember how many energy I have. Ah, oh, I missed it. What did they grab? Ah, oh, Track Cloak. Okay, that makes sense as to why you're drawing Drac Cloak. Kind of. What are you doing next? You're bringing in the Charizard? I don't know what you're doing. Are you bringing in a Charmander? Yeah. That seems like a safe play. There's the Dracloak. I obviously don't want to play Iono and give him a hand advantage. I don't know what I want to do yet. I feel like this game is winnable, but it can easily get out of hand for us. Oh, look at this. Should I take Charizard and get the lead that way? No, the answer is no. Because in all, in all reality, they can go ahead and, you know, get an energy card and retreat it, and we miss the knockout there. We don't need Jack. Here comes a Drac Cloak. We're close, though. We're close to a W. I think we're running three bosses orders in this deck. Golly, I'm dreading that Charizard, though. The only way I knock out Charizard is with Centino. There's that Dragapult we were dreading. I'm kind of quiet because I'm thinking things through. We're okay with letting Lugia go down. We got the boss's order so we can take a Charmander or something after we knock out the Dragapult. So what I can in theory do, I know we're gonna take some damage here, but I guess what we can do is do some damage with Lugia V-Star and we clean it up with Cincino afterward. I don't know, now I feel stuck. Oh! Okay. I guess they feel like they have the need to take my Archelops and my Lugia. What are you doing? I would have targeted Centino, to be honest. Okay, but I can see what, what their thought process is, nonetheless. I got unfair stamp for later, though. That's pretty sweet. We're gonna play the Primal Turbo. We're gonna play a Energy 2 since you know here. We're gonna only do one. That's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Just in case, just in case, Tempest Dive is gonna allow us to do some pretty heavy damage and we're gonna take the Dragapult on the turn that follows. So I feel really good. They can't take my Cincino. I feel really good about this, actually. I was nervous for them to stack all six to Cincino and take it to turn afterward. That is ultimately what I would have done, personally. Recon Directive is fine. You go ahead and do that. We should be able to take a W. I'm hoping I can take a W. I'm itching for it. Game 1 W would be pretty nice. Did you guys see how fast we got set up with Lugia, though? And brought out the Archelops? That was pretty sick. Let's see what we got, though. My opponent's kind of thinking things through. I don't know. 
Yeah, I didn't think they fully knew what they wanted to do yet. They obviously knock out our Lugia. They do some pretty good damage to Arcalops, but that's already a done deal. Okay. They got rid of us, and that's perfectly fine, to be honest. Okay. Because what we're going to go ahead and do here, we're going to take it. We're going to take this Dragapult with uh, Tensino. And we should be able to win next turn. I like where we're at. I really do. Hmm. How much is special rules going to do 120? And it's just enough to knock it out. So we're good. We're definitely good. Hit the special roll. Get rid of this Dragapult EX. We take our two. And we either A, take Dracloak or Charmander. Unless, unless, and I cannot stress this unless, they have a um, rare candy or something and evolve that Charmander. Okay. Yeah, it looks to me like they're going to evolve it. Yeah, they're going to evolve into Dragapult. And they're going to take my Archelops and my Cin and my Cincino to bring it closer. But it's it's a done deal. I bet you anything. Oh, wait a minute. This is going to tell me that the game's not over yet. Okay, Charmeleon is fine. I'm okay with Charmeleon. Yeah, Charmeleon's awesome, actually. That's best case scenario for us. Now it's secured the W. I bet you anything my opponent concedes as soon as I play boss's orders. My opponent's really taking their time trying to analyze this turn. Countercatcher? Okay, what are you doing? Oh, that's not good. That changes everything. Did we just lose? Iono just jacked it up for us. I did not anticipate an Iono. Can I get a reset stamp? Or can I draw boss's orders straight up? Or a Luminion? We got a three, what is it called? A three out of 31 chance to win this game. I want you to think about that. Three of 31 chance to really win this. I cannot watch. I really cannot watch. I just... I'm shocked. Straight up, I'm shocked. I'm gonna be 100% honest. It's a done deal for us. I can technically buy myself a turn if I retreat Sino, though that would be not the smartest thing in the world. Hey! Hey! Capturing Aroma, it was secretly the win con. And I did not think things through. <laughs> it's a good thing I honestly just... Yeah, that's amazing. We just, we just took it. 
literally a coin flip and we win. Oh, if I were my opponent, I'd be super salty. Hey, game one, super duper clutch. Super duper clutch. We're gonna play Lugia V. My opponent plays the mo my opponent mulligans. Is this Lost Box Lugia? Or not Lugia, sorry. Garatina? And Jack would be pretty cool right now, not gonna lie. And I'm kind of thinking ahead for turn three. My second turn. That just depends on what we get. Yeah, Jack would be pretty cool on this next turn. Let's see what we get though. An Ultra Ball. I'm down with an Ultra Ball. Okay. Let's play double turbo energy on Lugia V. And call it a turn. So next turn, what I'm kind of thinking about is playing Jacques. Grabbing a Lugia V star in an Archelops. And then you already know how we do. Heavy Ball. Let's see what they got. Got two comfy, which is obviously an engine to this last box deck. Caloris's experiment. Hey, that Curum coming up on uh, what is it called? Shrouded Fable is going to be the arc an arc nemesis to Lost Box decks, which is going to be pretty cool to see how that really plays out. I don't think Lost Box is as strong as single or future what was it single strike future strike i don't remember what you guys know what i'm talking about um that mew deck i don't remember what it was called though fusion strike that's what it was fusion strike mew that deck was bonkers i hated going against future strike or uh fusion strike mew okay back to the game my opponent plays poke stop Get rid of a Roxanne. I really love this art. I wish I had this art as opposed to the Rainbow Rare. Buddy Buddy Puffin. Another Comfy. And a Mimikyu. I'm actually kind of cool with that. You can bring in your Mimikyu if you want. I'll get rid of it with Tintino if I got to. Okay. My opponent doesn't do anything as far as that goes. Okay. What do we do next? We play the Jock. And with Jock, we get Lugia V Star and the other Archelops. And the table is set. So we're going to go ahead and involve Lugia V-Star. Get rid of both Archelops here. We're going to grab our little Tintino here. And we're going to evolve the Mincino. That kind of rhymes. Now we play Summoning Star. We're going to grab both Archelops here. Primal Turbo. Um, Gift Energy and V-Guard Energy would be pretty good on Lugia right now. Okay. And then with this Archelops, I think I'm good with just a double turbo energy. I don't got one. Miss Energy and Gift Energy will do. That means two, three of our double turbo energy are in here. Because I'm running four of them. And we simply hit Tempest Dive. We're going to get rid of the Pokestop because that's a problem for us and we take a uh, prize card maybe it's a double turbo it's an archelops okay next turn i'm okay with hitting professor's research maybe we boss his orders and get rid of the greninja or something i don't know yet but let's see what my opponent has a steel energy are we secretly against a dialga v star deck Okay, let's see what my opponent has put into the Lost Box. Nothing. Okay, here comes Cramorant. They haven't revealed too much. Prime Catcher, they're gonna get rid of my Sensino. Oh, Archelops. What are you gonna do here? That's fine. Archelops is not gonna go down this turn. Which means we can simply hit up the Lugia here. We can probably even Cincino. Um, 
We're definitely gonna professor's research here. Look at this, we get a jet energy. And Pokemon League Headquarters? Stupid clutch against Lost Box decks and everything else. Great Ball is gonna allow us to get a Mencino. Considering we got a Mencino on hand, that's actually not bad. Okay, what do we do next? We play the Jet Energy to this Encino. This is gonna allow us to really just take anything that my opponent wants to play and throw at us. So we're gonna hit Primal Turbo, we're gonna power up this Mencino here. Oh, not Jet Energy, just in case they do that stuff again. And we're gonna play it here. I don't think there's a need for us to use this Archelops yet. So we're simply gonna hit the special roll. Get rid of the Cramorant, and I kind of want to hit this Mimikyu later, once I get the opportunity. I got one more boss's orders. There's a double turbo energy. Yeah, Mimikyu's not going to do anything in this game. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, looking over my opponent's deck, I can't guess what they're running just based off of both of these energy cards right here. Both the, you know, Psychic Energy and the Steel Energy, I don't know what they're trying to do. Not afraid of Cramorant, so to say, but I also don't want Cincino to go down, so I might just retreat later. There goes the switch, Cramorant. Oh, wait a minute. It's not going to matter because they have no... Yeah, that's not going to matter. Regardless, Pokemon League Headquarters is good against Sableye. Hey, you can take my Tintino. I draw two. You take your one. Price card. That's fine by me. I th I'm sure I got a Super Rod in here. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Double Turbo Energy to Lugia B. Why not? And I don't like the amount of cards they have in their hand, so I'm simply going to Iono here. Okay, look, we got another Lugia V-Star. Okay, I like where we're at. Tempest Dive. We're gonna get rid of the Cramorant. We keep the Stadium, just in case they want to hit up a Sableye later. Gift, en Gift Energy is pretty good. Three of our, or two of our three Tensino are in the discard pile, so we gotta watch that. Okay, Pokestop comes out again. That's fine. Oh, they got their rescue board. Switch cart and canceling cologne. That's nice for my opponent. With Palpat, Chloris Experiment, and Roxanne. Okay. You know, I've never noticed that Iono has two Magnemite on her air. That's kind of cool. What did they put in their lost zone? Oh, okay. I'm cool with that. They're going to switch into what? Comfy? Honestly, we're gonna Iono again. I feel like that's the appropriate play, right? They already played their, their ace back. So... We ain't gotta worry about a prime catcher again. I feel like that was a waste of a ace back use. Especially prime catcher. Yeah, Mirage Gate. They're probably gonna put it on Greninja or something. Is my guess. And they're gonna get rid of my Archelops. And that's fine. I'm really cool with that. You got another Water Energy? Is that what you're telling me? Zemazenta. Mirage Gate. Probably another one to Greninja. And you're gonna get rid of Archelops and do some damage to Encino. I already know. I see right through you. 
Canceling cologne? What is... I don't find the purpose on using that right now. Okay, they play the boss's orders. Yeah, that's not good for us. There's a switch cart. Now Iono has no value to me. Nevertheless, though, they're going to do a lot of damage. Okay, they get rid of Arcalops. And they do damage to our Arcalops in play. Okay, at least we take the Radiant Greninja. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of cool with that. Now, Gift Energy, we have that in, in our hands. Miss Energy is cool, too. I'm going to play Gift Energy. Retreat it. And we got no reason not to go into Lugia here. For obvious reasons, I'm going to play pri uh, Primal Turbo. And we're going to go ahead and just play both of these Energy into Lugia V-Star. There's no reason to load, you know, Cincino up right now. Mm. And we're simply going to hit the Tempest Dive, get rid of the Pokestop. Yeah, we're discarding focus stop. Yeah, my opponent's down to two prize cards. Jet energy is pretty nice. Comfy for my opponent is best thing right now. They got 13 cards left in their deck though, so they're they probably have complete control of their resources too. Colores' experiment. I wonder what they drew. I got one more boss's orders, I think. I should probably search my deck for a boss's orders. I can probably hit capturing aroma for later. Crisis punch is a problem. Oh, they don't get it. They get super rod. They're going through the resources. I like this. They're running out of cards. Okay, there's the Sableye that I was kind of afraid of, not gonna lie because they can knock out Sensino and block me with Mimikyu, assuming I don't have a boss's orders. So I think, um, in a way, I feel like we should boss up that Mimikyu on this next turn. We got the jet energy for it too, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, Mirage Gate doesn't worry me. That Zamazenta doesn't worry me, at least. So I think I'm gonna Jet Energy, hit Zincino. We Ultra Ball, maybe. Yeah, we'll see what we got. We'll see what we got. I think we're pretty close to winning this. Okay. I don't mind where we're at. Hit the Jet Energy, play the Zincino. Because I'm gonna try to target this Mimikyu here. Then what I'm gonna do, we'll capture, capture Aroma here, give us the Tails. We get a Heads, I don't need a Heads. But this does allow us to kind of see if we got a boss's orders, and we definitely do. Okay, so we're gonna try it again. If we get the Tails, that would be awesome. Yeah, there you go. Now we get the Luminion. And with Luminion, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna grab the boss's orders and boss up the Mimikyu. And uh, honestly, we get rid of it that way. Okay. Special rule ensures that Mimikyu goes down. And now they can't block us. So we're in pretty good shape. I hope it stays this way. You can bring in the Zamazenta, you can bring in the Sableye. It should be double G. Yeah, this Lost Box deck was pretty interesting, to say the least. Zamazenta, as your main attacker, is kind of odd. And they've gone through most of their deck, so we can see what they're running. You know, two Cramorants. Iron Bundle. It almost feels like this is kind of a control deck. And they're probably going to concede. Because they have no cards and they've lost. 
They just won. Oh no, they didn't. We're good. We're okay. I was thinking they won because of Lugia. If they bring in the Sableye, we're kind of in trouble, truth be told. The Sableye places 12, 12 damage counters. That means Archelops is knocked out. That's six. And then six with Lugia V Star, there's three. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Lost Mind shouldn't knock us out. It should, oh, well, it'll knock us out, but it won't take us out of the game. We're fine. There's three. That was... This was a good game, too. Imagine I click gentle slap by mistake. I'd be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I've misclicked like that before. Okay, there's Lugia. This is double. Dub City. Double Dub City. Okay, those two games were the only two games we had time for on this specific video. But, you guys saw the power of Lugia V-Star, and in my opinion, this deck is still pretty top-notch. It gets set up super duper quick, and I really, really love it. So, we have 25 trainer cards. I thought I said 27 earlier, and I forgot I modified the deck a little bit. And we got 16 energy, 19 Pokemon. So that's the breakdown of our deck. Obviously, because we need consistency, we have four Archelops paired with three Lugia V-Star and four Lugia V. We got a Luminian V, which comes in super duper clutch at times. And then we have four, Sin or four Mincino and uh, three Cincino. The reason I have this Mincino specifically is because cleaning up allows us to discard Pokemon tools as needed. Um, but, you know, it's best just to have this little Mincino here for Call for Family. Worst case scenario, you bring in a Lugia, you bring in another Mincino, whatever you want to do as far as that goes. But Cincino and Lugia V-Star are the main attackers of this deck. I've thought about running for Cincino, um, and you can totally do that, but three works best for me. I actually thought I was running a Super Rod, and it turns out I'm not. Super Rod would be a pretty good idea to run, or something that recycles your Cincino and Mincino, because as you notice, it's super easy to just get rid of these. Nevertheless, even though we got rid of most of them, or, you know, they got picked off or whatever, we were still pretty consistent and we came in clutch in both games. I think we won both games by a single prize card, which was pretty dang cool. Not even gonna lie. We got four Carmine for consistency, but not only for consistency. Look at how beautiful Carmine looks. Such a beautiful card. It's one of my favorite cards and it's a chase card in real life, if I'm not mistaken. At least for me. But, if you go first, you may use this card during your first turn, you discard your hand and draw 5 cards. Which is pretty dang good, because if you got an Archelops or you just got a hand you want to dispose of, Carmine is pretty dang clutch. We got 3 Iono. I don't even know if this deck needs 3 Iono. You can modify as needed. You probably can get away with just 2 or 1 Iono. I feel like we didn't use her enough, or as much times as we needed to. We got a Collapse Stadium. Those future box decks can get really annoying and those Charizard decks can get really annoying and everything else. So Collapse Stadium comes in clutch. I really like Unfair Stamp in this deck. You could also run Cross or Prime, Prime Catcher for obvious reasons. But the reason I like Unfair Stamp is because it serves as a rock sand and puts your opponent in a little bit of a bind, especially if they don't have any draw power or a draw engine of, of some kind. I've kind of touched base on Pokemon League Headquarters on game number two if i'm not mistaken obviously i messed up remorant doesn't need any type of energy cost but had we had this in play with sableye sableye wouldn't be able to take care of our lugia and our archelops this card is also really good against iron hands it's really good against raging bolt it's really good against roaring moon it's uh really good overall i think it's a very underrated card in my own opinion, especially against those future box decks where Maridon can simply get started with one energy. This kind of blocks you in a way. I used to run two of them, but I decided to run one Collapse Stadium and one of these um, and kind of go about it that way. I like Jamming Tower as another underrated Stadium card. I don't remember if it was this, this deck or the Roaring Moon deck, where we blocked some users from using um, the 
I think it was this deck actually, where we played the Dragapult EX and we really just blocked it from using the um, Evolution TM, which was pretty pretty cool. It was pretty cool. It slowed down the Dragapult deck and I think that's one of the biggest reasons why we were able to win is because we slowed it down from setting up right away. We got set up sooner than that deck did. We got one Jack. Jack is pretty cool because you can get your two Archelops like we did. Um, well, we didn't get both of them, but we can get an Archelops as needed and a Lugia V Star, and we can combo that with other cards as needed. Capturing Aroma literally came clutch game one. I am never taking this card for granted again. We won game one off of a coin flip, and that was super cool. Really, really cool. I <laughs> probably one of the best games I've played in a while. We got one Professor's Research. Um, sometimes it's best to use Professor's Research over Carmine. I think we use it in this game as well. We got four Ultra Ball. I think four Ultra Ball is pretty nice because you could always discard your Archelops considering we're running four of them and never hurts. And then we got two Boss's Orders. We got one Great Ball and one Counter Catcher. Now, as far as our energy wise, we're running 16 Special Energy. Obviously this deck gets pretty dang hammered against the um, whatever hammer card it is, um, special hammer I think it is, enhanced hammer. Yeah, this card can be pretty lethal to this deck. There's another trainer card that I cannot remember the name of right now or who it is or whatever that um, it's a supporter card that basically discards one energy or returns a special energy to your hand for each of your Pokemon. So the, this deck is pretty weak to that, uh, to both of those cards. But we got Jet Energy, we got four of them. This came in clutch at one point because we had an Archelops on the on, on board and we had to switch it for a Tintino. Miss Energy is actually really good because it saves us against Dragapult EX. Really, really good card to have. And I strongly, strongly suggest for you to run four of these bad boys. We got four Gift Energy. This is also another card for consistency. You use all the cards in your hand, you attach a Gift Energy, and guess what? You got seven cards to play with again. Really, really good card to have. We got three double turbo energy. I don't know why I thought we were running three of them. I think at one point I was running four and then I just got rid of one. And then we got one V guard energy. This card is less relevant nowadays. You can probably put in luminous energy. You can probably put in therapeutic energy or, you know, I don't know. You can probably use legacy energy or, you know, another different type of energy card because a lot of V Pokemon aren't played anymore. But nevertheless, this is our Lugia V star deck. One of my favorite decks, to be honest, it's come in clutch multiple times. These two games that you just witnessed, this isn't the only time this deck has come, come in clutch for me. It's one of my favorite decks, a very underrated deck, and I think it's still a really good deck to play and tournament use. I recommend this deck. Let me know what you think of this deck in the comment section down below. Leave a like, copy this deck, you can play it with it, you can modify it, whatever you want to do, check this deck out. It's one of my favorite decks. Nevertheless, it's your boy Daddy Mac. We'll see you guys on the next video.